Hello, Washington Charter School scholars and rule followers. I am coming to you to share great news. We are returning for in-person instruction on Monday, March 15th. I am gonna talk on behalf of all of the staff at Washington Charter School on how excited we are and looking forward to welcome you back onto the campus of Washington Charter School. I know it might be a little bit hard to hear me right now, I'm talking through a mask, okay? But the mask is for my safety and just as importantly, your safety. And I know you have lots of different masks at home. I have lots of different masks too. This one completely covers my nose and face. Many of us are also used to this blue one that we can kind of stretch out to cover our face, making sure that we've got our mouth covered and our nose covered. And I'm really excited to share that as you return for in-person instruction, we will also have our Washington Charter School Patriot mask. So I'm gonna take this one off right now, take my glasses off and go back to the first mask that I had on. So for those of you who are returning on March 15th, you are in cohort A. You're gonna to come to school on Mondays and Tuesdays from eight o'clock until two o'clock. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you're gonna to continue to learn from home. Others of you, you're in cohort B. So on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, you're gonna learn from home. And on Thursdays and Fridays, you're gonna return for in-person instruction at Washington Charter School. While others of you are gonna remain on distance learning, which means all five days of the week, you're gonna be learning from home with your teacher zooming in. So this is something for everyone. Some of you are gonna be at school part of the time. Some of you are going to be at home all of the time. Whatever your parents have selected for you, we promise it is gonna be an enjoyable experience and you're gonna to continue to learn. Some other things that I wanna talk about. It's important that we keep a safe distance. So right now, Miss Monica, who's videoing, she's at least six feet away from me. I also have my mask on. So it's important that we are wearing our mask at all times. The only times in which we're gonna take our mask off is if we're gonna have something to drink from our water bottle, or if it's snack time or lunch time and we're eating. Otherwise, masks stay on at all times. The other thing that's important is that we keep those six feet of physical distancing. So when you come back onto our campus, it's gonna look a little bit different than when you left last year. And for those of you who are new to Washington Charter School, it may look a little bit different than a school normally looks. So there's lots of different things that your teachers are gonna talk about that are in your classroom and that are on the playground. So the other thing that we know that's really important is that we wash our hands and we wash our hands on a regular basis throughout the course of the day. The best way to wash our hands, of course, is with soap and water. And for me, it's singing the happy birthday song. Then I know my hands are nice and clean by the time I finish that song. But if soap and water aren't available, then we're pretty used to hand sanitizer. Lots of different hand sanitizer out there. And we have hand sanitizer at Washington Charter School. So if soap and water is not available, we're gonna have hand sanitizer for you to use in the classroom and at other designated points on the campus. Speaking of the campus, and I told you things have changed a little bit, let's spend a little bit of time going out and seeing different parts of the campus. I'll see you in a moment. Well, hello scholars and rural followers. We've moved from my office outside. What a beautiful day it is today. Sunny skies, it's gonna be that way when we're here greeting you on the 15th or the 18th of March. So I've just gone over to one of our entrance gates. This happens to be the entrance gate for our second grade classes. This is Kincaid's class, this is Marx's class, and this is Saldivar's class. So your parents are gonna come into the traffic circle. This is the traffic circle that actually fronts Portola Avenue for your parents. They're gonna come in, they're gonna kiss you goodbye, and then you're going to walk through the open gate that's right here. I'm gonna walk you in right now because one of our friendly staff members will be standing right here. They're gonna greet you, they're gonna welcome you, they're gonna make sure that everything's okay. 
The first thing that they're gonna do is if you need hand sanitizer, that'll be available. Hopefully your hands will already be clean. If for some reason you've forgotten your mask, they're also gonna be here to provide you a mask. After that, on the tray will be a breakfast. So if you'd like a breakfast, it will be in a grab and go container and you can pick up your breakfast. So once again, hand sanitizing, mask if you need it, grab and go breakfast. Then with that grab and go breakfast, you're gonna walk directly to class. So if you're in Mr. Saldivar's class, directly to Mr. Saldivar's class, Mrs. Kincaid's class, directly to Mrs. Kincaid's class, and if you're in Mrs. Marx's class, right to Mrs. Marx's class. We're gonna have maps here just in case you're not sure where to go. Let's talk about being outside. Recess time. Hybrid students, we're gonna to continue to have recess at Washington Charter School. The times are gonna change just a little bit. The other part is, we need to make sure that you stay together, kind of like a bubble within your class with all of your classmates and your teacher. So when it's recess time, you're gonna leave the classroom and then you're gonna go out to a certain area on the playground. Mr. Lehman and your teachers have designated those areas in which you're gonna play and your teacher's gonna explain that in more detail when we get back to school the week of the 15th. You're also gonna have lunch. We're also gonna to keep to our system of some students playing before they eat and other students eating before they play. How about following me over to the cafeteria right now? Next time you see me, I'll be in the cafeteria. Out of the sun, back in the shade. It looks familiar, it's the Washington Charter School cafeteria area. Looks a little bit different in here right now. You're still gonna see your teacher's names on the tables, but we can't sit as many students at a table anymore. So you're either gonna see red on opposite ends or blue on opposite ends. Your teachers are gonna tell you what your tables are and where you're gonna be sitting. Again, for your health and safety, you'll be at least six feet apart. So as you finish in the cafeteria, you're gonna make your way to the playground. As we slowly make our way to the playground, we may have to use the bathroom. So bathrooms, they're all still gonna be open. But it looks a little bit different over here. You can see X's. X's are what you're gonna stand on if the bathroom's full. Right now, the bathroom doors are closed, but those bathroom doors will be open when you're back in school. And I'll also have a little bit of a color-coded system on here, and you're gonna have a pass. And you're gonna put your pass into the pocket when you go into the bathroom. Use the bathroom, wash your hands, and as you leave the bathroom, pick up your pass again. Your teacher's gonna explain more about this when you come back to school. But let's make our way to the playground. We're excited for recess. We're making our way to the playground. It's probably just gonna be our grade level out here. So that means more area for you to play. Let me stop along the way. Look at these direction arrows. The direction arrows are in green and they're in blue. They're to help to guide you to go up the stairs and down the stairs in a safe and cautious fashion. So we continue on our way to the playground. Off in the distance are some additional hand washing machines. That way, if you're out and about playing and your hands are dirty, you can use one of our two portable hand washing stations out here, in addition to all the opportunities in the back. So as we look onto the playground, you're gonna see a beautiful playground right now. I don't need to be in the picture. You can see all of that lovely, lovely green grass that's out there. Those are gonna be different areas on the playground in which you're able to play. And once again, we're gonna give you more detailed explanation of where you can play and when you can play when you come back for in-person instruction. So I think I've done enough talking for right now. More information is going to come when we see you on the 15th and the 18th. Take care.